what is up you guys it's y'all spiritual fairy godmother and i am back except i'm not back to the read i am back with kind of like a prayers of a light worker um a spiritual just chit chat video um i kind of just wanted to talk about stuff um and express stuff i don't know um so basically, I'm pretty much going to tell y'all about my experience and what's happening because obviously I'm very open and honest on my channel. Um, I put everything out there because that's my purpose. That's what I'm supposed to do. Um, so yeah, pretty much last night. Um, last night I went to sleep and I didn't smoke before bed or anything. And I felt like I remembered all my dreams. So I woke up at like 8 o'clock this morning and I recognized the fact that I had come out of a dream. So I told myself, like, okay, let's go back to sleep and let's see if we can like dream again. Because I was excited because lately I don't really have dreams. I really only feel like I, I have dreams when I'm pregnant. When I'm not pregnant, I never fucking remember my dreams. So I got really, really excited this morning. I'm like, fuck, like I'm having a dream. Let me go back to sleep. So I went back to sleep and... Um, I went back to sleep and I woke up like three different times and every time I woke up from a different dream but it was the same concept like but it was different scenes of the day or I, I don't know if it was just one day but it was different scenes but we were the same like we were the same um so yeah Yes, I don't know what I, where I was going with that. But yeah, so in the dreams, like I kept waking up and I kept asking God questions. And I'm like, okay, go. I'm going to go back to sleep and then I'm going to try to find those answers. Now, mind you, I don't remember the whole dream or anything like that. I don't even really remember what happened. I just remember the kind of concepts of the dream. So, yeah, so um, after that, I woke up kind of feeling some type of way. And I remember waking up to a call from Jonathan. And, um, I didn't answer the phone. I was still, I tried to go, like, hurry up and make myself go right back to sleep. So, I had put my phone on silent. And then I turned over and I went back to sleep and to try to, like, finish my dream. And then the last time I remember waking up was, like, 11 o'clock. And then at that point, I just felt like, okay, I can stay up. Now, I don't know, I don't remember what happened. I think somebody wrote me for a reading on Facebook. Yeah, she wrote me for um, a reading on Facebook and she was like, do you have anything in the next two hours? Because I have to work at three o'clock. Like, can you please give me in? I'm like, um, what kind of session did you want? Send me your money and then I can send you what time I have available. So right away, um, I felt rushed to do the reading and I was just kind of like, okay, fine. Like, you know, I just woke up, but I'm going to schedule her reading right away so that I don't have to, you know, it's my off day, it's Friday, so that I don't have to do a lot of stuff later. So, I did the reading, or whatever. What time is it? Because I'm supposed to be going somewhere at 5 o'clock. It's 3.12. Crazy. I looked at the clock right at 3.12. I will show y'all, but um, I have no phone numbers put in this phone. Hold on. But it says 3.12. But yeah, so, anyways, I end up... um. What was I saying? What part was I on? I don't know. But, um... What? I don't know what I was saying. But, yeah. So, I end up getting right up and just being like, fuck you. I'm gonna right away just do the reading. And, um... Yeah, right away I'm just gonna do the reading. And that's gonna be that. Um... So, yeah, I literally stopped what I was doing. I woke up. I put on a dress, like, so I can be presentable, wash my face and stuff, took off my head scarf, and I um, put, I used the instant, and I just kind of cleared my space, and I was like, fuck it, okay, I got 20 minutes before this reading. Her reading is at 1.30, like, fuck it, let's do it. I just got the fuck up, and I did it. And, um, at first, like, I felt like I couldn't pull on her energy because everything that I was, that I kept saying, she kept saying, like, no, like, no, that's not me, that's not me. Um, and then I was kind of like, okay, well, do you just want to talk to me? You know, do you just kind of want to vent and kind of let some stuff out and tell me what's going on, tell me what's happening? So once she did that, immediately, I'm like, girl, if you, if you listen to what I was saying, this is your dude, like, this is, you know, like, this is the person. It's somebody else, it's the person. Um... So, yeah, pretty much that happened, and I decided, like, wow, like, you know, well, during the reading, I didn't recognize it, I didn't recognize it, but, um, 
it was a lot of like similarities like it was a lot of similarities between the reading and my dream and I didn't recognize it till after and I was texting Jamila and I'm just like wow you know like um I really feel like my gifts are heightening like I feel like I can have a dream about something and then you know I'm supposed to be doing something with that dream like I'm supposed to and I remember a couple of days ago I was telling Jamila like I had this dream and so and so so happy um but I felt like I shouldn't write it down like I felt like I didn't write it down I didn't want to write it down because it was sacred and she was like girl yeah write them down um they're sacred to you so you should write them down but in my heart I felt like no like I don't want them I don't I don't want to write them down like I don't I don't feel like I want to write them down I don't feel like I want to write them down and then um today me and her were talking and I'm just like okay let me just take her advice like let me try to just write this dream down and as soon as I tried to like start writing the dream down the pen went out and I'll even show y'all hold on let me find the page okay hold on because now I want to find it. it's gonna irritate me but um Okay, I don't know where I was writing it at, but I started to um to write it and then my fucking pen went dead. Um, who is Jonathan wrote me a note? Okay, I'm gonna read that in a second, but hold on. Okay, hold on, cause I'm I might make that the thumbnail or something. But I was writing. That's gonna irritate me. I, okay, it's it's gonna. It's, <laughs> Okay, because I feel like he's throwing me off track because it irritates me sometimes like when I can't find stuff. So I kind of just want to look for it. I'm sorry. It's going to bother me. I kind of have OCD in that way where it's like once I set my mind on something, I can't just take it off. And like, I was writing something. I'm sorry, y'all. It's just how my mind works. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to focus. Okay. <sighs> okay, so pretty much basically I was writing down a dream and then my pen, my pen had stopped working. And I'm like, okay, wow, like I'm really not supposed to write this down. Like, and I went to a flashback, like, damn, she really said that my dreams are sacred. And I, I felt that, like, she write, like, damn, my dreams are really sacred. Like, I can't just, you know, like, I can't just put this out there. This not just for everybody to know type situation. Meaning the reason why I'm not telling you all my dreams and stuff like that. But I don't tell people my dreams. I don't know. Like, I just don't tell people my dreams. I've never been the type to tell people my dreams because I feel like people can decipher a lot from your dreams and they can decipher their own story. They can come up with their own story. And I just feel like I don't need nobody up in my business because dreams tell a lot. So, yeah. But anyway, I don't know where I was. Oh, this, I was saying all this to say something about the relationship shit. Pretty much, y'all, I really want to be a relationship coach. I'm speaking it out into the world now. I feel like I know that I'm a relationship coach. I know that I am. I know that my views about relationships are very, very different. I I am aware, and I, I've been noticing that, like, when I'm doing readings and stuff, I be telling people, like, I know this not what you want to hear. I know this not what you want to hear, but I'm tired of doing that. That's why I want to be a life coach, because I feel like readings, people just expect you to tell them, something concrete and I don't know nothing concrete I'm not I'm not gonna say I'm not a psychic but like I feel like my my the stuff the messages that I'm giving I'm giving them from God like I don't know every fucking thing you know I just want to be able to coach you through your situation be able to help you figure out what your situation is or what you're going through I don't want to pinpoint what's gonna happen in your future because I don't know what's gonna happen in my future you know and I feel like, I feel like I'm just, I'm not a future teller, you know? And I think after I had my baby, that's what made me realize that, like, I don't know, like, it just, it's just like, I don't know everything. I mean, I guess that's the simplest way I could put it. I don't know, I don't know everything. And... Yeah, that's just, it just is what it is. And I, I'm recognizing how, like, fear and anxiety can hold you back from so much. It can literally hold you back from so, so, so much. Like, so, so, so much. And I just feel like I don't, I don't want to do that anymore. Like, I don't want to just... 
submit to my fears because I got a lot of fears. I got a lot of fears and I feel like if I were to submit to all of my fears, like I wouldn't really have nothing. I wouldn't really have nothing. You know, like I be a lot of times I'm scared about not not being able to pay my bills. But if that was the case, I could have easily just said, fuck the house. I'm going to move back in with my mom. I'm not going to be scared no more. I'm not going to be scared of getting evicted. But I don't give a fuck. Like, I don't. <laughs> like just because I'm scared of something, it's not going to stop me from doing it. I'll be scared to get in a car. I'll, be, I'll have anxiety driving, but that's not going to stop me from manifesting a car. I have insecurities. I have relationship anxieties about my man cheating or going somewhere else or doing something else or wanting somebody else all kind of shit like it happens like it happens nobody is 100 percent secure in themselves all the time you know and i'm just recognizing how fear holds me back so much from having the things that i want like sometimes i'll delete a picture if I get scared, like, okay, wait, maybe maybe this is not the picture I wanted to post, or maybe people not going to understand this, or maybe people not going to get this, or, you know, maybe people think going to think I'm posting it for this reason, and it's just like, I don't want to live like that, I don't want to live in that anymore, I don't think there's a reason for me to live in that anymore, and it's been kind of making me feel so, 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 so peaceful, like, it's just been... It's been making me feel really, really good. Like, really, really good knowing that, like, I accept me. I accept me for the good about myself, the bad about myself, the shit that I can't stand about myself. Like, all of it, I recognize that I'm aware of it. You know, like, I'm aware of all of it. And I think the fact that I'm becoming so much more aware. I feel like there's nothing nobody else, there's nothing that nobody can tell me. There's nothing that nobody, I'm not living like nobody else, you know? And for a second, my dream scared me because I'm like, damn, like, what if this about me? Like, what if God's showing me, like, this my future? Like, God's showing me my future and what's going to happen, you know? And it's just like, damn, like, it's scary, you know, it's scary, and I feel like, damn, what if God's showing me, like, this is what could happen if you, if you keep going, like, if you keep doing this, if you don't break yourself free. I don't know, like, I just been in the energy of feeling confused. And I'm allowed to, and I think that's another reason why. I forgot what I was about to say because I started thinking about something else. I think that's another. Wait, what? Hold on, because I can't. Hold on, because I can't pinpoint now my thought. Damn it. Damn it. Fuck, damn it. Mm. I just lost myself in my thoughts, and I can't put my... I don't remember what I was, um... <laughs> that sucks. Oh, but, um... I don't know, because <laughs> I completely, like, lost my train of thought. It's good. But, yeah, I don't know. I'm... I'm really in a position of just kind of like accepting all of me and I feel like I don't want to ever feel like somebody else is having control over me over what I'm doing over how my life is going like like I feel so confused and I feel like I I'm a human, like, I get to not know the answers, you know, because sometimes it's like, damn, I be feeling like God sending me confirmation, but then at the same time, it's like, well, which one is confirmation? Like, which option, which... Like, we literally have so many choices. We literally have so, so, so many choices in life 
back and forth every day and everything is a choice literally every single thing every single thing everything is hard in life and everything is a choice and you just have to I feel like you kind of have to pick your poison like you really have to pick your poison and in a way it's kind of like dang I I don't want to go through all of this because what if I can like what if I can stop myself from going through all this like okay so something that I've been dealing with is kind of like my relationship right now and especially with me wanting to be a relationship coach like I've been recognizing that like my before a year ago my thing used to always be like know your worth like a woman should always leave a man as soon as he shows you something bad like and I've that's who I've always been like I I will leave y'all watch my manifesting the husband journey and it was it was easy for me to cut niggas off when I felt like they wasn't for me anymore. And, um, I'm recognizing how lately I've been coaching people to stay through everything. To, like, get through it through everything. And it's like, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Because... I don't think I'm supposed to be telling anybody what the fuck to do. Like, I'm not y'all, you know, I don't want to do that. I want to coach people and help them figure out what they're supposed to do or what works best for them. Because, like, for me personally, I feel like I've been recognizing everybody going to hurt you. Like, your mom, your dad, your best friend, your sister, your cousin, your man, your kids, um, your coworkers, everybody is gonna hurt you in some kind of way. You just ha- literally have to pick your poison. You marry this man, he might hurt you because he's not helping you financially. Versus you marry this man who cheat on you but give you the world. It's like either way you're gonna be hurt, but you gotta decide like which which hurt can you take? Which hurt can you take? And it be so difficult because, like, sometimes I do be feeling like, hold on, my lips are so dry, hold on. But yeah, so sometimes I do kind of just feel like, um, like sometimes I be feeling like, dang, like I'm so, I'm so on the right track. Like I know exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. Like I know this and I know that. And then, and then it'd be other times where I just be so, I can't tell if it's anxiety or not. Cause like sometimes I've been thinking lately, like, do I, do I really want to keep putting up with this? if this could potentially be my outcome, like, you know, if this could potentially be my outcome, but then it'd be like, okay, but who says that this has to be the outcome? Because at the end of the day, you don't know. Like, I've had dreams, and they didn't necessarily come true. Like, I've seen, I've had good dreams that I wanted to come true that didn't necessarily come true. So who's to say that me having a bad dream or me having anxiety about something or me having a fear of something makes that fear true like you can have a fear that you're gonna go you're gonna go out of town and you're gonna get kidnapped is that gonna really stop you from exploring the world and going out of the country because that has been a fear of mine ever since i've seen taken like i've never said like oh i want to go out the country that's never i've never even wanted to really travel But now I'm recognizing, like, I want to go on a solo trip out the country. Like, I want to not have that fear of what could happen or (laughs) shit. A lot of shit can happen. A lot of fucking shit can happen. And I feel like a lot of shit is going to happen. Like, a lot of shit is going to happen. But that doesn't mean that I shouldn't live my fucking life and, like, enjoy the shit that makes me happy right now. 
But then how do you even know the shit that makes you happy right now? Because I feel like happiness is so temporary. Like, I could be happy one minute and then sad the next. I could, you know, so it's like, how do I not just find happiness, but also just find joy, you know, find a peace of mind outside of just that. Like, what even fucking makes me happy? Because it's, you can't, I, like, my main thing that I keep thinking about is, like, my relationship. Like, okay, I be feeling like, damn, my relationship is supposed to make me so happy. But you're dealing with another person, another individual. Like, even with my kid, even with kids, it's kind of like, you would think your kids are supposed to be the joy of your eye. Like, the apple of your eye, the, you know, make you so happy. But you deal with parent guilt all day. You deal with making sure or wanting to make sure that they're okay, worrying about them, stressing about them, wondering what's going on inside their head, like, Wondering if you get them, wondering if they're okay, like, and I feel like for a while, I was really allowing fear to stop me from wanting a baby, like, stop me from manifesting another baby, because I'm like, damn, like, you know, when you have a miscarriage, they don't really, sometimes they don't give you information on what happened, like, all I know is that my water broke, but I don't know why, I don't know. You know, like, I could, for a while, I'm like, okay, it, it must have been because I was smoking, right? But then it's like, okay, so if I stop smoking and shit still don't go right, like, then what? Then what? Like, there's no definite anything. There's no definite anything. And for me, it just feel like, wow, like. If, if I don't even know why my baby didn't make it, what's going to stop another baby from not making it? Like, if I don't know what's wrong with me and I can't change something, then, like, how do I know I'm not going to get the same outcome? Like, it's just fear is a thing. Like, fear is fear is a big thing, too. I don't know y'all I just be getting to thinking about shit and mm. should be difficult to handle and to deal with and it just be like how do you navigate life dude like how do you how do you know what the fucking right decisions are I don't know if we ever do. And that shit is just like... Mm -hmm. Sometimes I just feel so clueless. I just be feeling like I don't know what the fuck going on. What the fuck I'm supposed to be doing. But I feel like that's a part of why I'm doing this because... I don't like feeling so like I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like feeling like I'm the only motherfucker going through this shit or that's why I do these videos. That's why I'm, I express myself the way I express myself because I feel like if I had a mentor or my parents or 
teaching me about this relationship shit, teaching me about it's okay to feel guilty about the kind of parent that you are sometimes. It's okay. It's okay to not be perfect. It's okay to not be the best friend sometimes. It's okay to not be the perfect employee. Shit, like, to call in days when you need time to yourself. Like, to take care of your mental health. Like, you need people. You need your parents. You need... We need help. We need help. And I feel like I want to be that help. I want to be that help because I don't got no help. Even the people in my life that I feel like helping me. Um, let me not say I don't got no help because that's a lie. That's a lie. I do have help and I got a lot of help. I got a lot of help. But I need guidance. Help and guidance is two different things. And I feel like I fucking need guidance. Like I need help. That's why I rely on God so much. Because I know that. I know God not going to steer me wrong. Even if it feel wrong sometimes. That don't mean it is. fucking know and I'm just <sighs> right now my biggest dilemma is how do you set boundaries like how do you choose you and still love the people around you Every day I gotta feel bad about not being able to give everything, all of my energy to my daughter. Like sometimes I just, I wish that I could play with her exactly how she wanted me to. And I wish that I could look at everything every time she said my name. And I wish that like every time she needed my attention, I could just give it to her and I could just stop what I'm doing. But like I can't. I don't know how to fight that. Like, I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to how to decipher balance between the two. I don't know how to... I don't know how. I don't know how to be balanced between loving myself and then, shit, picking somebody else. For me to just love more... I don't even know what I just said. choices like I just want to make the best choices for my family and for myself <laughs> and I know I shouldn't keep living so far into the future but I just I want my life to be good <laughs> I can't even fathom the shit I'm gonna go through but I just, I don't want it to be this no more. Like the very things that you manifest, you recognize come with so much turmoil. My 
relationship is just going through so much right now. That's like the biggest thing in my life. Everything else just feel like it's good. Well, okay, my relationship and my mothering. So it's my relationships with people. Because it's my relationships with friends too. It's not just about romance. It's about me as a person and how I connect with people and how how I set boundaries with people and how I allow people to treat me. Like, I'm, I'm tired of being mistreated. I'm tired of letting people hurt me. But I feel like I got to. I feel like that's what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to just teach them. And sometimes it's hard being that person. It's hard and not stressful and it's I used to be going a lot. I just be going through a lot on a daily and I feel like sometimes People just expect me to just not go through shit. We're like, not people, the world. The world just expects you to be okay all the time. I need time to not be okay. But yeah, um, I don't know. I just kind of, I wanted to vent and I want to get back into doing these prayers of a light worker videos because I know how important they are for me. I know how important they are to myself, family, and to y'all that's watching. Um, yeah, like this should be so real. Like my healing process is so real. I'm so aware of my healing process and I don't want to keep myself in the dark I don't want to keep y'all in the dark I want to know I want to remember these moments where I'm breaking down and, my, and I'm asking myself these questions so that when I'm in a different position in life and I know that I'm that I've surpassed this point in my life I can look back and I can be like Caprice you knew what you knew you knew what you knew you felt how you felt you was aware like My nose are running. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this video up and just upload it right away because it's Friday and I feel like y'all can go ahead and tap in uh, fresh off work or whatever y'all situation is. But this was definitely one of them. This was definitely one of them videos that I needed to film, that I needed to get off my chest. I needed it, I needed it, I needed it, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'm out of here, y'all.